With food that looks this good, there's bound to be a fight over it. <laughs> okay, so the physics behind what just happened here is initially he had zero velocity and I had velocity. So his momentum was zero initially and mine had some value. Then we collided and it was an elastic collision. So I gave him all of my momentum, well, all of my velocity, and then I was left with zero velocity. I was stuck here fixing my plate. Well, he, I pushed him out of the way so I could make my plate. So he got all of the momentum and I started with the momentum. The momentum was conserved, but it was transformed. All right, so what we just saw there is um, energy. So this water bottle, when it's on the counter, it has some potential energy because it is a certain height from the ground. So that potential energy is MGH, mass times gravity times the height that the water bottle is at. But whenever the water bottle fell, it turned into, it was converting it to kinetic energy where it has some velocity. The formula for kinetic energy is one half mass times velocity squared. So while it's traveling, it has this velocity, but then it hits the ground and the velocity goes to zero again. But yeah, so that's potential energy and kinetic energy. going on here is a little bit of thermodynamics. So there's ice and sweet tea in this cup, but they aren't the same temperature. This sweet tea was in the fridge, but the ice was frozen. So by the laws of thermodynamics, the heat is going to travel from the hotter substance to the colder substance to warm it up. So essentially, um, once they become the same temperature, um, the change in temperature of the tea which was hotter than the temperature of the ice basically it's like the temperature of the tea is being taken away from by the ice instead of being cooled down by the ice there's a difference so um yes yeah, so these will continually transfer heat with each other and that's going to be by two equations. There's Q equals MC delta T and there's Q equals ML. So those are going to be, one is for the fusion, the L is the um, latent um, heat of fusion and that's going to be turning the ice from ice, a solid, to a liquid, water. But then the other Q, MC delta T, that is going to be the act of changing the temperature of the liquid.